friends, this is Sumit from Madeira Diaries and today we talk about a Canadian whiskey. Not just any Canadian whiskey, a whiskey that's won Whiskey of the Year award by a famous whiskey critique and is made with just single spice, the rye grain. It's made with 100% rye. The whiskey is none other than Alberta Premium Cask Strength Rye. For beginners like me who do not know what a rye whiskey is, in the US for a whiskey to be called rye, it has to have at least 51% rye. Just like for a bourbon, you need to have at least 51% corn. But in Canada, there is no such regulations. They even call their regular whiskey a rye whiskey. But this particular one from Alberta Premium is made with 100% rye grain. There's no age statement to it, but they say it's five to six years age and it comes at a $70 price point. Let's talk a little about their distillery. Alberta Premium is located in Calgary, Alberta. They say they source all their grains locally, support farmers and they have been in operation since 1946. They get their water from glaciers melting from the Rocky Mountains so you know the water is very pure and nice. The distillery also makes different spirits like vodka and are known to supply their whiskies to other distillers like Whistle Pig who also make world class rye whiskies. So let's open this bottle up, see what's on the label, do a little tasting and let's see if it stands to its accolades of the world's best whiskey. You see we, I had some with a friend who knows a lot about dry. I wanted to open it up. I know it's hot 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 because it's 66% alcohol by volume. Like I said, it's cast strength, so it's straight from the barrel. They also have a Alberta Premium, which is at the 40% ABV, which is, of course, mellowed down. But for this, we definitely needed a drop of water. But you can see the bottle, very different, different textures on the bottle itself. A very different looking bottle. But for being a premium $70 bottle, it doesn't have a, what is it called, a cork, yes that's what it's called. It doesn't have a cork and it has just a screw top. So let's open this up, again 66% ABV, have to be careful, that's a lot of alcohol so we just pour a little and let it open up a little. It's good it's not the neck pour. I know how the neck pour was. It was hot, very hot. Let's nose it and see if I can get some notes. Yeah, it's, you get a puff of alcohol right down. It's really strong, but slowly you can start getting some of these baking spices which is very quintessential of a rye, like a rye bread and some caramel, vanillas, oak, of course all those basic flavors, the ones I can usually, a beginner can say. It even has like butterscotch I would say, but it smells really nice. Okay, let's taste it, cheers. It, it is hot, it is, you get every bit of the 66% but still it's pretty, pretty good afterwards it has a very long finish and smooth and that's what the distillery is very famous for telling we use 100% rye and still make a very smooth nice whiskey and for the people who like the rye spice they'll definitely love it it has a long finish, a lot of baking spices notes, some cinnamon, honey and again definitely vanilla and oak but, but it is, it, that initial pour really burns through it because it's such a high ABV. Let's do a thing, let's add a drop of water and see if 
things open up and it mellows down a little. So when I was drinking with my friend too, we had to add a drop of water because it just... For me, anything above the 55% ABV, I start getting... It gets a little too much, but it's easier with a bourbon compared to a rye. Okay, I think it was more than a drop, but I'll take a sip too. Let's swirl it. Swirl it like Matt from ADHD Whiskey does it. Every bit of Canada swirling. So you know Canadians can make good whiskey now. Alberta Premium has shown it. So watch out Japan, India, all the rising stars of the whiskey world after Scotland, US of course. I should have said Scotland, of course, or US, of course, I don't know, what do I know? Let's taste after adding the drop of water, still hot, but still all the nice notes. I want to smell it, but I don't want to smell it, that's fine, because I just, so much ethanol kick to it, but, but it has those nice flavors. It's like when you finish swallowing it, it's like a burst of flavors and that's what they call long finish and then you get all the cinnamon and the baking spices and now I can feel it while I'm speaking so it's definitely a very nice rye whiskey. I enjoyed it with my friend, a friend who likes rye whiskey also enjoyed it. It's different from all the regular ones because it's so much rye and it's such a high ABV but it's but it's definitely worth a try if you spot it somewhere. If you don't want it so hot, if you find a 40% ABV, that's even better. I know India doesn't get a lot of the rye whiskies. I know they get the Buffalo Trace Sazerac rye, which is an introduction to rye. It's a good introduction to rye. So try that if you like rye, and then if you spot this somewhere, do give it a chance or try it with a friend. You won't be disappointed. It's like, and now I feel like I had a butterscotch candy. So it's it's very nice finish. It's still lasting long. I'm going to enjoy this rest of the pour tonight and call it a good night. It's Friday, Friday, like they say, Friday. We get it, F R Y E, Friday, Friday, Friday. No, it's Friday. Anyway. As always, drink responsibly, don't drink and drive, like most of the YouTubers say, follow them, follow me, subscribe, like, comment, do all those things, and until next time, Sumit from Madhira Diaries.